floor exercise. And to start it off, Elena Lukina of the Soviet Union, second coming in. Her score in the overall round, 9-6-5. A full twisting double back. A little short on that. Shoulders down, but the judges will take into consideration the difficulty involved. Very elegant dancer. Very lyrical. And that audience participation always helps. They cannot step out of those bounds, the, the lines on the floor. They do, it's a deduction. She, she almost was, did. She was right on the line. Change of pace that is required. The Russian gymnasts take about an hour of ballet every single day. these championships was 18-year-old Elena Mukina. Three years earlier, Mukina had not even been a serious competitor. Then she paired up with men's coach Mikhail Klemenko. Together, they devised routines that made people gas. She has a spectacular move in her bar routine, something that was made famous by Gordon Maddox and yourself. Right here, only it's a full twisting core, but oh. beautiful. Oh, my goodness. Th that's exactly what Olga did at Munich, but with a twist, literally. Yeah, exactly. She is moving so smoothly. See why she's leading at this point. Watch, heck back. Beautiful oh. exercise. On the balance beam, her dismount was so difficult, it was still being used to win Olympic championships ten years later. She dismount, watch this. Round off, double back. Mm, beautiful. And in the floor exercise, she would be the first woman gymnast to take the double back somersault to a new level, adding a full twist to the first somersault. And watch her mount. Flip flop, full twisting, double back. Whoa. Such ease. And she finished her routine with the kind of tumbling pass others would only dare to try at the start. Good endurance. Double back. Ending wow. with a double back. Terrific. Elena Mukina. Unshakable so far. A round of a fist back and a full twisting double back somersault. Plus a great deal of elegance. So in the acrobatics that you're seeing now, and you're seeing a great performance. And the score is 9.95. That is the highest score by any competitor in this women's championship so far. Yelena Mukina won three gold medals in the 1978 World Championships but she doesn't thrill the crowds anymore. While training for the 1980 Olympics, she broke her neck. Mukina is confined to a wheelchair. She blames her former coach. It happened very simply. Everything had led up to it. I wasn't physically or emotionally ready. My injury could have been expected. It was an accident that could have been anticipated. It was inevitable. I had said more than once that I would break my neck doing that element. I had hurt myself badly several times, but he just replied that people like me don't break their necks. And again, it's not that you can't, but that you don't want to. You're not conscientious. You're lazy. She was hailed as one of the greatest talents ever. When she was injured, what came out was a variety of skills that she's supposed to be performing when the injury happened. But stories came out. Was it, uh, did she do it on bars? Where did she do it? And eventually the truth came out. It was in a floor exercise. She was tired. Maybe that extra repetition, that extra demand from the coach caused it. For five years, Yelena Mukina had been one of the Soviet Union's star gymnasts. Few matched her elegance and style.
Her success also brought glory for her coach, Mikhail Klominko. They had worked together since Mukina was in elementary school. Mikhail Klemenko treated me like a living robot. Apart from the gym and gymnastics, nothing existed. I didn't have the right to be ill. Problems outside sports simply did not exist. He didn't understand that I might be tired. He would say, you're not tired, you just don't want to do it. That was his method of training. 